Well, this is my website. I'm Steven, and this is my concussion website. It's about concussions, and first let's go with our home. So I have a picture right here of two football players walking heads, as you can see. One of them, their, one of his, their brain is getting, like, yellow. Well, it's supposed to be, like, it hurts. So about the website. This is a website where you can learn about concussions and what they can do. So here's a video to tell you a little bit about concussions. So this is sports science, NFL concussions, and helmet to helmet collisions, and you can just see this on YouTube if you want. Over 100,000 concussions occur in all levels of football, and 60% of these are from head-to-head -head collisions. In an impact lasting just 15 milliseconds, a player's head, on average, experiences almost 100 G's of force, and collisions on special teams can result in forces of up to 190 G's. In the NFL, the average speed of head-to-head -head impact, the velocity of both heads combined, is 20 miles per hour, with the strike player's head decelerating 14 miles per hour. According to studies done by Sports Science's chief medical advisor, Dr. Basil Eich, this 15 millisecond impact is equivalent to getting smashed in the head with a sledgehammer. In the last 10 years, the average number of days a concussed player is out has more than doubled, and even improved helmet technology is only able to reduce an 80G impact to 40 Gs, still several times when an F-16 experiences and more than enough to cause a concussion or neck fracture. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Briggs. And that's it for that. So, so let me tell you a little bit about myself. Well, I'm Stephen, and I have personally had five concussions. And right now, I had two in one month. And trust me, they're not fun. Oh, well, that's better for that. And let's go to about. I'll read this right here. And here's a picture of a 3D image of a skull sleeve and their skull. So what to know? There are 1.7 million concussions a year in the USA alone. You get a concussion when you get a hard impact in your chest, back, or head. You get it. You get it because it. The hip makes radiation, which shakes the brain around and slams against the skull. That makes, and that makes the brain get a concussion. So like. You don't just have to get a hard hit to the head. You could get a hit to the chest or the back. Just anything that makes your head shake or have your brain slam against your skull, that gives you a concussion. There isn't a rating on concussions. Some people think they're really, there are like mild, moderate, and severe. When there really isn't because everyone has a different sensitivity when they get hit. Some people also think concussions are mostly diagnosed from sports, when they really aren't. There is a device called the eye device, which is a thing that is supposed to see if you have a concussion or not. The way they work is if you get you get an iPad, some headphones, and a blindfold type of thing, that you would look at the iPad and the iPad. And the iPad has these games, but not really like fun games, it's like that you would roll a ball on a piece of wood or you would have to read a bunch of letters and see how you did. You would take it twice and see, and if you had a millisecond or just anything different, you had a concussion. Here's a picture of the eye device. So it looks like this. Some women may disagree with this, but women are more, more prone to concussion because men have the stronger necks. Doctors have not found a cure to concussions. People say the cure is to sit in the dark room for a long time when you, when your head would heal at the same time, at, time as if you just do, you do during your daily lives. Doctors say genetics might play in a role in concussions because if somebody in your family have had many concussions, you might get a lot of, you might get a lot of concussions. Because like, let's say that you might have like a softer brain or, or like, might so like if it's just a little hit that could give you concussion in football if you get slammed in the head by somebody else during special teams it is 190 g's of force 
the average speed of you getting hit is 20 miles per hour. Studies show that this 50, 15 second impact is equivalent to getting smashed in the head with a sledgehammer. What they can do. Here's a picture of some football helmets. What they can do. There are three most common ways people get a concussion. It is from bike accident, car accidents, and roller coasters. Sports is like the fifth. These are, so this is from order of when people most get it, so by gangs and car and roller coasters. But, yeah, sports is fifth. So, you're probably wondering why roller coasters. Well, have you ever seen somebody go on a roller coaster, get off, and throw up? Most likely, they have a concussion. They get one because when you're on a roller coaster, you get jolted and thrown around. Well, whenever that is happening, your brain is actually slammed against your skull, which gives you a concussion. Because, like, like I said earlier, when it slams against your head, it it's actually slamming your head against when you jolt and stuff. So doctors say everyone has a different time to heal. They say young adults take the longest to heal because everything is this, because every Everyone is different. Sorry about that. The only proven treatment to heal concussions is rest. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Sorry to say, but this is the last part of my website. Thank you so much for visiting my website and reading it. If you have a concussion or you have some more questions, if you have a concussion or you have more questions, Questions, see a specialist about them or a person who has lots of experience of learning about concussions. If you would like to share this website with your friends or people you know who have a concussion, that would really make me happy. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and showing, thanks for letting me show you.